Hello everybody, XP Gamer here. Welcome back to more Super Paper Mario. Last time we made our way through I almost said Boggly Woods. Last time we made our way through um Bog Gloom Valley, Gloom Valley. I don't know why I was thinking Bog. And made our way into Merley's mansion. We also met the explosive pixel named Boomer. Who can't blow us up for some reason. And we made our way into the ca into the not castle mansion. And I wanted to play the level, but I had to go eat. So here we have this weird little woman. Well, hi there. Big welcome. Welcome to Merley's mansion. I'm Lady Merley's handmaid. My name's Mimi. You can call me Mimikins if you want. You're here to see Lady Merley, aren't you? How super for you. <clears throat> well, Lady Merley is on the second floor in the farth in the farthest room. Just head on up there whenever you're ready. Oh, golly, but listen, don't you dare go into any other rooms by accident, or else. Enjoy your visit, okay? So we go over here, we do have a door here, and we have a giant pupper there. Uh, stay away from me, please. Anyway, she said farthest room. If you aren't stupid, then you shouldn't trust her, but we're gonna be stupid and trust her. Yep, stupid idea. So you can run away. You can escape. However, why would you want to escape when you can dodge like a pro? Look at this. It doesn't stand a chance. Oh shoot. Eh. I actually almost went under it. Here we are on top of the thing and we blow it up! That doesn't work. I right, just wait for it to come back up. Money, oh shoot, okay. Just making sure it wasn't gonna come all the way up and crush me. Cause that would not be good. Blow stuff up for me. I have to flip into 3D. Go over here. Maneuver our way around a bit, and we're safe. Got our treasure chest. House key. I just go all the way back down. Careful not to die. And uh, yeah, that was not the room. So Mimi, what are what are you up for? What are you doing? Hmm, Lady Merle wasn't in the farthest room on the second floor? Uh, oh golly, what a what a big old messy poo I've made of things. Lady Merle must be in the closest room on the second floor. Please, please try there. Second chances for everyone. Maybe this will be the Ew, a mushroom. I got the experience, I don't care. Here you go. Do, 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 do. We did it, guys. We're so cool. That was such a dark, scary, dangerous trap. I don't think you can make it over there with Peach, but I just want to test it. Oh, you can. Hmm. That is rather interesting. But there's nothing over here, so it's not like it matters. Okay, just making sure that it doesn't trap me again. Alright, Merle. Er, er, not Merle. Mimi. Ahem. Are you, are you out for us? L -l Lady Merle wasn't in the room I directed you to? Oh, oh, gee whiz. I've been a silly, silly Mimikins. Lady Merle must be in the middle room on the second floor. Please try there. Trusting you on this. Money? Is 
this. Why, why were they off? Why are they off center? <laughs> That's such a strange detail to make them off center like that. I couldn't get the money. I wanted it. Hey, come here, my boy. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Boom! Wait, how much damage does that do? Oh, yeah, 12, because Boomer does double damage. I forgot about that. Eh. There we go. See, some switches don't stay active, so you either have to put some weight on them or. Greed got the best of me. <laughs> You either have to put some weight on them or just like hit them with something heavy while you're standing near whatever it activates. And that's our first of many examples of that. But I want the money. Can I grab the money? Can I grab the money? Ooh, ooh, think of what I can grab the money. Eh. I won't risk it. I'm not that greedy. We have 294 coins after all. Alright, Mimi, that's that's all the doors. What are you gonna say? It's the one behind the giant doggo now? We have to go kill ourselves to make it there? Hmm? Lady Merly wasn't in the room I directed you to? Oh, jeepers, Mimi, can you deserve a good spanking? Why must you be so silly? Lady Merly must be in the closest room on the first floor. Yes, of course. Please head in and go all the way to the back. I shouldn't trust you, but I'm going to. If it isn't a mushroom. How generous of you. Boy, what? How does one get in? What? I don't remember that being how Maybe I fully jumped over it and that's why. Hello there. Eh. Eh. Alright, so it doesn't stay. So, Booma, do your stuff. You do boobity boop. And now we can escape. I can kill those with bombs. Mimi, you have some explaining to do. You can't even grab it. You can't even grab it. Mimi. What's up? Gee whiz, that's a real head scratcher, huh? I know Lady Merley is somewhere in the mansion. Look wherever you can. She's got to be somewhere. Maybe she's in the room that we have a key to. Unlock it! Oh my god. It wasn't letting me unlock it for a second. That was close. Eek! That was a beautiful scream by yours truly. Hmm. I wonder why that savage thing went straight for her and paid us no mind. I'd like to think we look rather tasty. What do you suppose it means? This mansion is quite odd. I feel certain it holds many secrets. Eh, who cares? The point is, we can, we can escape now. And yeah, that was the whole level. You can just go in that far room, get the key, and then unlock the door, and you'll be fine. You don't have to do all the actual levely stuff. While this is happening, I'm gonna be right back in a second. Okay, that was more like three seconds, but I'm back. Ahem. Yes. Okay, I am back. Uh, hold on, I need to do something real quick before this happens. Alright, let's go. 
Mario and friends kept up their search, delving ever deeper into the mansion. Wherever they looked, though, they found no sign of Merle. Where was this mysterious woman? Huh, maybe this way. So, so said Tippy, trying to sense the pure heart's location. With dread dangling like a broken chandelier, our heroes hurried through corridors. Breaking the bank! What is this? Fortune Street? No, it's Marley's Mansion. What is this? It looks like a vase. So we can save. There's nothing in here though besides some prison cells that even though we're flat as paint we can't get in. <laughs> Interesting. We can get up there though. So let's try and get up there. Oh shoot. I, I broke a thing. Yeah! Yeah, I am Bowyer from RPG Mario. You broke it! You broke my most favoritest face! Doofuses! I can't remember a voice now, even though it was so basic. Huh. I love that face more than anything, and you broke it! Yarg! Oh, you'll pay for that. Yes, you will. I'll have you know that that face costs a million rubies. So hand over that money now or you're done for. Rubies? Oh. I don't believe Mario carries any of that particular currency. I don't suppose those are anything like coins, are they? Coins? No one uses coins! That's why you baited me with them in the mansion. Any more, you peasants? I spit on your coins! So what are you saying? Are you telling me you don't have any rubies at all? Well, guess what? You're just gonna have to work it off then. Until you work off your debt, you naughty little things. I own you. Enjoy labor. Yes, so you can earn rubies. You can earn rubies in the generator room on the top floor. Once you earn a million rubies, you come pay it off in the room at the back. You can also check the balance of your debt there. So get to work, servants. Mario is now saddled with a one million rupee debt. Whoa. There's literally a coin in this block. And yet you still say they're worthless? Boy, what's wrong with you? So, um, yeah, we have a few doors. This is where the peasants are located. If I believe correctly. Yep. Know the secret? Cause I do! So, do you know the secret part? Well, do you? If then you close your peepers and imagine real hard, that's the world's gone. Why, it's just about the biggest darn thrill ever. Well, huh? My senses are telling me that you're the hero. Whoa, hey, welcome, pard. Got some bad news, though. Looks to me like you're a bit lacking in thrills. I can't give my power to anyone who's too skinny in the thrills department. So here's what we do, Pard. I'll recharge your thrill gauge over the next 10 seconds. You ready? Here goes. One, two, three, five, four, seventeen, three point one four, one merzillion, ten. I think that was only like seven actual numbers. Now you're all chargified, Pard. Yupper, now you've got your thrills. Now remember, we Pixels got loads of power, so you'd best be real careful with us. We had a little dust up with them ancients 2,000 years ago, but we're Pards now. So let's go have us some thrills, huh? Come on! I just imagine Captain Falcon going, Come on! A sideways turning Pixel named Slim is now your Pard, it's Slim Shady Boy. You can use Slim's power to turn sideways and avoid traps or enemies, and when you're sideways, you won't take damage, as long as you stay still. So now you know the secret, huh, Pard, don't you? Playing hide-and-seek is the biggest thrill you can find. You ought to try it. So it's essentially going into 3D without 
going in 3D. Can we actually do this 3D? Yeah, we can. Alright. So yeah, we have Slim Shady in our group now. Let's go in this door. Hey now, gerbil, you want to learn a little secret? Yeah, I bet you do. Just slip me a hundred rubies, I'll tell you something good. Honest, it's prime info. What? You, you don't trust me? <laughs> you must lead a sad little gerbil life if you can't trust people. Ah, looking for some pep? Then grab a mushroom and get your energy back up. Just bash that block there to produce a suspicious, er, er, delicious mushroom. Each one costs ten rubies, mind you, but that's how I make my living, so eat up. Mmm, juicy. Eating mushrooms is the only pleasure allowed in this horrible factory. I don't know if I could go on without my sweet little fungi. And then there's this... Oh, no, that's the same guy. Never mind. So you can't pay ten rupees... Or, rubies, my bad. I'm saying them by their fake name and not the real world name, because of Zelda. To replenish your health. Um, as you can see, this is basically slavery. Alright, uh... Boomer, do your thing. This is what I was thinking. I always think this specific bombable wall is in that Gloam Valley place. Got a boo card. Alright, that's it. Just making sure there wasn't more. Because I couldn't see. Alright, we go in here. I believe this is the room. You can see we have a ruby counter in the top right. Yes! Jump, little fleas! Work those skinny little free legs! Ah, oh, make it burn! Jump like you mean it! Boss Mimi hates the dark like he hates Brussels sprouts. So work it! More power! <laughs> Anytime I hear more power, I just think of more power! From a uh, Victorious, if you ever saw that show. Yeah, this is a generator rule. Heat blocks make energy, earn rubies. Ah! Uh, rubies make the world go up, down, round, and round. You wanna work here too? Oh, I love the energy, kid. Just find an unused block and jump like you mean it. Another day, another rupee. Ah, oh, rupees are life. Ah, jump, ruby, jump, ruby. When you're done jumping, come talk to me. I'll tell you how many rubies you earn. Oh, and watch out for that. For our motivational sparks that travel along the floor. So yeah, it's basically slave working. Literally. And this is why they have the HP in case you end up, like, killing yourself working. But basically, you can do a bunch of slave work. And yeah. Thirty-three rupees. Alright. So we're gonna keep going till we get a hundred. The little fan they have up in the top right. Thirty-eight. And 29, so it is one rupee per jump, or one ruby, my bad, per jump. Now that we have 100, I'm gonna go talk to that guy. And maybe he'll tell it to us for free since we're Peach. Who knows? I actually want to see if that's a possibility. Hey, new gerbil, you want to learn a secret? Yeah, nope, just says the same thing. Your mom taught you to trust strangers, huh? Yeah, solid parenting right there. Turns out she was a smart cookie. I'm gonna give you the VIP room basket. Secret code is 5963. 5963. So you're gonna wanna remember that code. And not go in the door again. Back out. With that new code in our brains. 
First off, what did what does this guy have to say? I saw you wandering around. I came to get my romantic fortune read, okay? You know, see the future for me and my gal. But I never met Merle. Now I'll never see my sweetie again. Cruel fate. Same thing. Alright. So now this is the VIP room. It's essentially a much faster way to make rubies. Much faster. Run, gerbils! Round and round and round she goes. When I'll retire, nobody knows. Big Boss Mimi hates the dark more than old ham. So move those gerbil legs. Power up! So yeah, now they're running to make money. Like hamsters or gerbils, I guess. That makes more sense. VIP generator room, run in the wheel, make bolts, earn some cash. Major upgrade from the other room. You'll earn, you'll earn crazy rubies. Yep, tuckered out. <laughs> So for just that amount of running, you get 270, so definitely a lot better than what you were previously making. However, I still want to leave. I believe it's this room. Let me see what you all have to say. No flee, huh? Hey, did you know there's a VIP room as well as the normal one? You can earn rubies there way faster than in the entry level flea jumping room. Here's the problem though, you need a passcode to get in. And only members know it. Man, if only if only I knew that password. Juicy info, I got it, want it? I'll tell you for one ruby. What you say, huh? Heck yeah. Here's the skinny. In this mansion there are lots of hidden passageways, yeah. Check all walls, check both sides, up, down, left, right, leave no corner unchecked. The ruby well spent. I work and work, but I can't never grab enough, up enough rubies to pay off my debt. I'm gonna tell you, I don't know if I'm ever gonna get out of this creepy place. I believe... Yes, there is a guy right here. Fine timing, friend of mine. I just got hold of some very delectable info. Your time, Lisa, what's yours? I was gonna charge 10,000 rubies, but for you, 10,000... Or 10,001. No way. Now... I do not want to run on a hamster wheel that long, so I'm just going to go ahead. I have the passcode on my phone, cheap or not, I don't care. Um, and I'm just going to do what he would give us, or what he would tell us. He would basically give us another code, and I'll show you what it's for. That's my rubies up ahead, and lots of them. See these electrified barriers to burn you into roast gerbil surprise. If only I had me one of them slenderizing pixels I heard about. You heard of them? If you use one of them, you turn sideways, which makes you practically invincible. I think there's one of them things stashed somewhere in this mansion. I got it. It's all mine. You, you can't have it. I'm too cool. So using Slim, we can pass these electrical barriers. And here we see a gigantic safe. Now, if you ran long enough to get 10,000 rupees, or rubies, I keep saying rupees, uh, he gives you this code. 412 628 And for that, We are officially rich. You got one million rubies. Just enough to pay off our debt. How convenient. Funny thing is, first time I played this game, I never found that guy, so I never knew, and I never found this either, so I never knew um, that there was a safe here. So, I legitimately, I don't know what exactly I did. I think I, I have a Wii uh, remote, like the grip on it, you know? 
So I think I stuffed something under the grip so it was constantly pushing right on the D-pad. And I just left it like that for hours until I actually manually paid off all the rubies in that um running thing. Anyways, now that we have enough. Oh, hi there. Big welcome. So happy to have you here. Rubies, savings, and loan. So I actually had it taped like that for hours. Me doing like nothing. And I paid it off myself. First off, thanks for taking out a special ruby loan. Now what can I do for you? Super, let me just take all those rubies off your hands. There you go. Well, thank you so much for paying off your ruby loan in full. What? How did you earn enough rubies to pay it off? That's not supposed to happen. No, you've broken my wonderful curse. Cur your curse of money? What? What curse? And she... she, she, she. We, we freed the prisoners, I guess. So that young imp put a curse on this mansion? Then, but who was she really? I'm worried about Merle. We must hurry to her aid. And now we go. End of chapter. Bit early. End of chapter! There we go. Perfect. One hundred. Ah! Stretching. Ah, that was a good stretch. The mysterious handmade Mimi disappeared in a bizarre explosion. What exactly was her plan? And why did she try to enslave Mario and friends? After the incident, Princess Peach noticed stairs going down. Here we go, she said. I wonder if Merle is down here. Thought our heroes, as they traded worried glances. The two solemnly made their way down, knowing there was no other path to follow. Chapter 2-4 The Basement Face-Off Pure heart is near. I feel its tremor so much more strongly down here. Ah, hooray, whoopee. Thanks for coming to look for me. Beautiful, mysterious Merle. Mistress of the house, it's me. So glad it's you, I see. So long I've waited for you. Your arrival is well past due. But we can't meet like this, so no, for something's amiss. An evil one is after me, and safe and sound I cannot be. In the basement do I dwell, maze like rooms are my cell. You will find me, I can tell. And if you do, take care, for your eyes may err. Trust nothing, foul or fair. No, I cannot last. My power is fading fast. The distance is too vast. Are you ready to find me? Beware if you do, I plead. Dot dot dot. Da da dot dot dot. She's gone. Was that apparition really, Merle? Why do you suppose she was telling us to be so careful when we find her? Welcome to the basement. You know, it's a basement. The basement's perfect. Basements never end badly. Also, we're almost near our level up. So with that, we have made our way through the majority of Merle's mansion, besides obviously the basement. We made our way through all the traps Merle set, and we paid off our million ruby loan. Even though we just technically stole it, but whatever. So next time on Super Paper Mario, we're going to head down deep into the basement and hopefully find Merle and the Pure Heart. See you guys then.